It seems so natural, developing a relationship with someone you're with 40 hours a week. But the office romance might be a little more than you bargained for. Sure, it's great. You can see that person every day. That's when it's going well. But if it goes bad, wow, it brings up issues like favoritism, jealousy, or even worse. Amber Kelleher addresses some of the technicalities of the office romance. The office romance. We've seen it in the headlines. When it goes bad, it gets ugly. Yeah, office romance, whether it's talk shows, whether it's politics, it's everywhere. I call the office romance a ticking time bomb ready to go off. But, you know, it's common where we go every single day. There might be a spark that occurs at the work. So here are my tips. First of all, what you need to do is check your employee handbook. Your company will definitely have rules. They're either going to prohibit you from having a relationship at work or they're going to allow it with some conditions. For example, you might be able to date a peer, somebody within your department, but you cannot date your boss or the manager. There's a big difference, so you need to know that. Also, you really have to think this through. Don't let the chemistry get the best of you. You're going to see this person every single day. You're going to see them at night after work. Is this really what you want? And also, what happens if it doesn't work out? Oh, when it goes south, then you have to face that person. Yes, yes. And Ew. so, let's say it does go south, because you have to consider this. If it goes south, one or both of you may lose your job. It's very, very rare that you can have a true office romance, break up, and still be within the same company, and both doing okay. Oh, and like, you think you can keep it a secret? People are like, oh, you're <laughs> You know, they know what's going on. You know, speaking of that, in the mailbag, uh, Greg A. asks, is it good to shop talk on a date? I heard talking about work is a buzzkill. I don't think talking about work is a buzzkill. I think that it says a lot about who you are. You don't want it to define who you are, but it definitely says a lot. But going back again, if you're having a romance with somebody at the place of work, which I say is a big no-no, then you're not going to do shop talk when you go, when you're, you know, back out on a date. You don't want to talk about work. And that might be another reason why you don't want to date somebody at work, because you're always talking about work. So I say mix it up a little bit. Your work is a place where you can concentrate and where you can think about your career. And then the dating world is something different something nice and you can share bits of that with the person that you're with. I don't want to open up a can of worms but the boss, dating the boss, bad idea? Bad idea, yes. bad idea. I mean where, where is it going to go from there? You're, you know, if, if, if he ends up being love at first sight and he's a real nice guy and you end up getting married then congratulations but it's, it's a very, very risky business. And more tips? Where can we go? More tips. Okay, if you want to know more about risky business or you want to know the do's and don'ts of dating, check out my website. It's kelleherinternational.com We have a radio show and we have the Cron Foreign news and you can get lots of tips. Scintillating.